love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something What is up guys and welcome to another vlog Another weekend, another competition I am now at my home This is my beautiful lake in England And we are about to road trip across to France. I've just flown, literally landed this morning from Orlando, so I've had a nine hour flight, two hour drive home, had a quick set, because I mean, just look at the conditions, absolutely beautiful. And then me and my dad are gonna go drive to France. It's gonna be about a 10 hour drive overnight. I'm gonna be so well rested for this tournament, but let's get going on the road. All right, we made it to the tunnel. Um, we made a little bit of a mistake. We may have booked the, the 1 a.m. train for the wrong day, but it's all good. We're on the train now. We're gonna drive through the night. Dad's taking a nap. He's feeling a little, a little stupid for booking the wrong ticket. But we're all good. We're here. A 35-minute train underneath the sea, so that's pretty cool. And we'll see you in France in like an hour and a half. How about when someone's back garden? All right, we're out here in Domotan, Funglis in France. It's in the real farming land of France. The conditions um, right now. Are absolutely beautiful the lake is just to die for the boat strong ropes are solid so there's not many complaints coming to this weekend other than the fact that there was a 21 mile an hour 30 mile an hour gust coming in on Sunday so the finals is gonna be fun but tomorrow conditions should be perfect and um, we're gonna get in the car we're gonna get back to the hotel I'm gonna explain to you the program for the weekend let's get it it is two rounds prelims and then finals kind of like a lot of the Toms have been lately so top eight make it through aiming kind of for a two or three at 41 I believe the cuts maybe gonna be five maybe the deep end of 39 but we shall see how that goes tomorrow on the way to the restaurant now for my birthday dinner and then we're gonna get to bed and get ready for tomorrow all right it is day one prelims day it's very hot already it's like 30 degrees that's like 90 in Fahrenheit we're gonna go to the most beautiful little French bakery for breakfast and we're gonna get moving because I'm pretty sure we're starting soon so I've skied first round really solid four and a half at 39 10 7 5 so not too bad skiing I just I don't really know what I did I just was a bit of an idiot through the end of it right, while we're here I just want to do a round one recap Tigas and Sasha are tied in first place right now with three at 41 Tigas was just inside four then Dane got three and a half at 41 managed to just whip his ski out to three Nate messed up he got a two at 41 didn't look too strong out on his 41 absolutely smashed the 39 but yeah two at 41 which is a bit uncharacteristic from Nate and then it moves down into me with the four and a half at 39 and there's I think a three-way tie with Tom Paul, Callum Heath and Robert Pagosi with four at 39. So just had a decision with the skiers meeting and the conditions aren't too good now they're a little windy but tomorrow it's gonna be 20 mile an hour um, sustained winds with kind of 50 mile an hour gusts, 70 mile an hour gusts or something crazy. So we have decided to put the final today and it's gonna be the best of two rounds which um, which is kind of good. Obviously, Tigas is throwing a little bit of an advantage out there and Sasha with their top first round scores. So I've kind of just got to go out there and commit. I'm going to need a piece of three if I'm going to be anywhere near the podium. So probably thinking about going out there 39 tail and just kind of going for it. Oh, round is over. Didn't do too well. It's the second pro time I've ever done that I've missed 39 both rounds, which is a little bit annoying. Five at 39. Um, I was kind of on it from the start, but I just couldn't quite get it together couldn't quite finish it I kept getting nervous at five just riding the riding the tail and not being able to get to six which is a little bit annoying so finished in seventh place not the best not the worst obviously I wouldn't do more I'd have loved kind of a top five finish this weekend but we live and learn and we're gonna carry on and keep hopefully doing a little bit better next weekend all right Dane Meckler you skied pretty damn good this weekend how did it feel out there uh, I felt great honestly uh, I was here in 2018 and I skied really well then this is you know a great site in Europe and uh, yeah, I ended up getting four. I knew, um, you know, it would definitely take a piece of four ball. Um, and so just hammered you fought, down and you tried to that. get there. I'll show, you, I'll show you your three ball here in the final round. How, yeah. how did that happen? That, Man, I watched I mean, from the bank, I'm like, he's done. And you... Yeah, I've, um, honestly, I was struggling a bit at two ball this weekend and just put it down. And, you know, being a lefty, I can kind of just hammer three and, and knew I had to just hang on. The first round, I kind of popped the handle out of three and... <laughs> So I uh, was able to hold on and get the four. So. Yeah, no, that was some insane skiing this weekend. As I say, you, you love skiing here. The site's beautiful. Um, and we'll see uh, what other tournaments are we going to see you at yeah, this Yeah, so summer? I'll be at uh, the San Gervasio Pro-Am and then uh, the, in Lacanau. So oh. I'll be uh, in Italy and then France. And just want to say a huge thanks to Nico and Sylvie. This was a great event. I highly recommend to come here. Hopefully we can get some more skiers here at the next event. So. All right, here with Nate Smith. Insane skiing in the second round. How did it feel out there? 
Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, my first round wasn't the best, I would say. But, yeah, that was very uh, un unnate characteristic <laughs> there. But uh, luckily we had two rounds, so yeah. uh, the next round I, I figured things out and got dialed in and uh, was able to put up a big score and take the win. What happened in round one out of interest? I was just struggling with the gates and the timing and, uh, you know, the wind was a little up and down and different, so uh, I just overshot the gate at 41, had a slid the tail at two ball and couldn't really hold the, uh, my angle to get to three, so I, I really... It was all a little bit of hope then in the second round you went out there and stomped one of the most beautiful 41s we've ever seen. But uh, great skin, we're excited to see you around. What other tournaments are you going to be doing in Europe this summer? Any or no? Yeah, uh, two more. So headed back to Orlando in the morning and then I will be back for San Gervasio in a couple weeks and then Lacano the week after that. Exciting, we'll see you there. Good skin, man. Well yep, done. Thank you. All right, Sasha, you're back from injury two times, three at 41. Insane skin. How did it feel out there? Mine felt good. Um, I, um, it was... Uh, not easy after an eight running one at 43 and then four at 41. Yeah. So uh, I did the best I could. Yeah. Max, uh, I couldn't go more. That's, yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm yeah, happy with my skiing. Yeah. You haven't had too many sets out there lately. How have you? Have you been training much this season, or what's the schedule been like? No, not yet because I had surgery on my. Um, I was. I was. I had a problem last year in my arm. Yeah. So I had to get surgery, and I started again here. Uh, three weeks ago. So, three weeks. Yeah. Two times three at 41 in three weeks. That's yeah. pretty impressive skiing. Congrats, man. Yeah. And we'll see. Will we see you at any more tournaments this season? Uh, or? Yes, I don't know which one yet, but. Uh, we'll see you there. Yeah. Great. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. In seventh place is Rob with uh, five at, 30, at 39 or so. So as you can tell, I am back home. I don't quite know what's happened. I think England's broke. It's very, very sunny. We did not manage to do that exhibition because it got kind of crazy windy and there was no need to kind of put any of us at risk and the, the organiser wasn't too bothered about seeing it because the scores weren't going to be that high because it was very, very windy. But um, just a little recap. Obviously, you saw from the podium, um, but Nate Smith ended up in first with one at 43, 975. Um, great skiing there. Dane Meckler in second with four. Um, Sasha Deshuns in third with three and then Tegas kind of got the three on the count back but lost back on the count back so that's kind of your top four I finished in seventh which um, is a little bit annoying obviously I wish I should have done better the scores weren't too high so I feel like I should have done better but we live and learn and we will be back at the next event slightly different plans for the next vlog I think I'm going to pick four skiers or five skiers probably the HO team so me Will John um, Jamie and maybe Ali Nicholson and follow just us through the whole event so get a little bit more behind the scenes get a little bit more of the plans how the training went so i can be a little bit more concise with what i want to catch so the next vlog i'm looking forward to that a lot hopefully it should be um, a real nice story of the event and we'll get to kind of follow some skiers through and the emotions of an event instead of just my own but thank you so much for watching if you like what you see please click subscribe please hit um, that like button drop a comment if you have any questions um, you'd like to ask me or any of the team like always and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching Possibly the loudest band.